What is good with y'all? It is Young Flames back in the building today, coming at y'all with another video. So, in today's video, um, I'm going to pretty much make a tutorial on how to properly arrange your beats. Now, I know when I started making beats, I had a really hard time trying to arrange my beats properly. I would listen to rap songs and kind of arrange them how they were. Um, but now I pretty much have a method to doing it. So in today's video, I'm going to show y'all how I arrange my beats and show y'all little different tips and tricks to kind of um, make your beats more interesting to listen to and give them more variation. Um, so yeah, before we get into it, if you haven't already, follow my Instagram and Twitter at MaxFlames underscore. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I have this beat that I made uh, probably a month ago. It follows the standard method that I use when I uh, arrange my beats. So with my beats, I typically arrange them to have three hooks and two verses. Um, this is because it gives the artist uh, enough room for the track to be able to um, cut some stuff out or you know rearrange it however they want to. Uh, so yeah, so I guess I'll start from the beginning. Um, I typically lay my patterns out in eight bars. Um, so in the beginning, I have the two pianos playing first. So I'll play that for y'all. So with the intros, I usually make them either eight bars or 16 bars. Um, if I make them 16 bars, I'll have other instruments come in and I'll also bring in the um, an open hat or like a hi-hat to kind of um, lead up to something when the uh, drop hits. So when the beat drops, uh, I obviously have my tag and then my riser here. So, um, so with the hooks, they're usually 16 bars long. Um, with the first half of the hook, I always have one kick um, hitting as soon as the beat drops. And the reason why I do this is that um, it gives the beat more punch when it drops. Uh, it makes it sound like, you know, it, it just sounds cooler, honestly. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. But um, I've also seen Metro Boomin do this on a couple of his tracks. So um, ever since then, I've always been doing it. So um, next... I took out the second piano and I also kept the main piano playing and uh, right here I had a, uh, I believe this is a pad. So when the second half of the uh, hook hits, um, I start to bring in more snares like the secondary snare and the kick. For the second half of the hook you can bring in like a counter melody. Um, I know I used to do that a lot for my arrangements but um, I guess particularly for this beat I didn't do that. So. Moving on to the verse, uh, typically my verses are, um, let's see, I think this is 8, 16, 24 or 32 bars long. Uh, so this one is particularly 24 bars long. Um, I usually don't go anything under or above that unless it's like 32, just because if it's only 16 bars, I feel like it's not long enough for a, uh, a verse. Um, and anything more than 32, I feel like is just too long for the rapper to be rapping on. Um, so as far as the melodic aspects, for the first part of the verse, I took out the main piano. So usually, um, if you have a main lead, you want to take that instrument out uh, when the when the verse hits. That's that's where the variation comes in. It gives the listener a little ear break, and it you know it gives them uh, something else pretty much to listen to. So. I have this piano playing. So what I did here is I delayed the um, I delayed the snare and the hi hat. That kind of uh, also gives an uh, ear distinction to the listener and also to the rapper that okay they know the verse is starting right here. Um, so yeah. And I also never have the kick playing in the first half. So moving on to the second section of the verse, I introduced another instrument and also took one out. So here's what that sounds like. So 
so what i did here is i added the counter melody into the second section of the verse uh it gives it a little bit more variation in my in my opinion and it um it also just really switches the beat up kind of adding a um another counter melody so for the third section of the verse here um what i did is i took out the snare for the first half of the eight and then i brought it back in it gives it the effect to the listener that okay something's about to happen which means the hook is coming back around so you can usually think about the last sections of verses as like a bridge so this is how i did the bridge sometimes you could just take out all of the drum the drum instruments and let the melodies play out uh that's one way of you know making a bridge that's uh, usually how i do it but i kind of wanted to do it this way on this beat so So what I like to do uh, with the bridges is that I always take out the hi-hat, like a bar of the hi-hat right before the uh, bridge ends to kind of give it the effect, like I said before, that the hook is about to come back. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, after I have this, I just highlight this whole thing and then copy it over here. And then what I'll do is that if I know this is the hook right here, I'll just copy this over again after the second hook. Oh my goodness the second verse i'll put in this master volume automation um and then pretty much signify that the beat is ending so yeah uh, i'm going to play the beat a little bit to kind of show you the idea that i had for it uh so yeah So you can hear as it's playing, um, it progresses through like as a as a beat itself, and that's what you kind of want with a beat. When you're arranging your beats, you really have to be creative in what instruments you want playing and what instruments you don't want playing. Music itself uh, is really all releasing and building tension. So you kind of want to do that with the arrangement as well, because um, building tension and releasing tension, it kind of differentiates a beat from being boring and uh very interesting um so yeah i hope with that you guys were able to take something away from this um and i also hope you guys enjoyed watching i'm busting out these videos for y'all so i would appreciate it if y'all tossed a like um comment something below and even uh subscribe uh so yeah it's max flames hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you're watching whenever you're watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace